Hey, it's Brenda Song, and you're on JSYK.com. <laughs> okay, well, Emily, um, probably my favorite Sweet Life episode was the very first episode that Phil Lewis, who plays Mr. Mosby, directed. Um, it was, uh, I forgot what it was called, but we were going to Egypt, and we were doing some sort of crazy search, but it was really, really great because it was the first time that one of our family members kind of like stepped outside of our comfort zone. So it was really fun. We teased him a lot, but it was really, really fun. And Emily, second question, do I have a boyfriend? I don't know. I don't like to talk about my personal life, so I guess I'll have to just keep wondering. Colleen 101 Piece, um, the second season of The Sweet Life on Deck, it's it's just crazier. It's bigger, it's wilder. Um, we start off the season, I can't even tell you because it's crazy, but we're, we get stranded places. This season we're taking, we're going to even more different countries. We were just in Morocco last week. And so we're actually just stepping it up. Um, it's been really fun. And my character's been in all the episodes, so hopefully you don't get sick of me. Well, London Tipton, uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. She's kind of a, a Disney Channel Paris Sultan. I mean, her dad owns a hotel that the show was based on, and when they moved onto the ship, her daddy owns the ship, of course. And um, she's kind of like my fantasy character. I mean, I would love to have her closet. London kind of lives this, this, in this little bubble, and everything outside of that ceased to exist to her. And uh, this, this new season, you actually get to see a little different side of London because she's been thrown into this whole crazy situation where she's no longer in her comfort zone. She's been thrown onto the ship where she's sharing a room with, you know, a roommate for the first time in her life and you kind of see the fact that she's not you know as happy as everyone thinks she is that money can't buy you happiness and the grass isn't always green on the other side so it's really fun and um it's playing london is probably i literally love stepping into her shoes every single day because she's got great shoes um, <laughs> so i have a lot of fun i mean there are times that i miss her and when i'm you know when i'm not portraying her i talk about her like she's a real person that's kind of scary actually but yeah i have my london moments brenda song has her london moments Um, my advice for not just a 14 year old girl, but for anybody who wants to be an actor, um, it's no different if you want to be an actor or the president or a doctor. It's all about working hard and staying positive and staying focused and surrounding yourself with good people. Um, I really believe that if you have a dream that you should follow it. It's coming from a little girl who, you know, my parents didn't even know how to get on TV. They thought to get on TV you had to somehow climb in the TV. And now I get to go to work every single day and live out my dream. I mean, it's, I couldn't ask for more. So honestly, just to stay focused. And if that's what you want to do, go for it. Hey, Rachel, uh, you're so sweet. My inspiration, I mean, this is probably a really corny answer, but um, probably my mom and my grandma, only because I think they've been through so much. My mom is a breast cancer survivor, and if, even throughout the whole process, she there was never a negative situation that she's gone through and hasn't turned into a positive. And she's always taught me that all you all you can do is be a good person and treat people the, that pe treat people the way that you want to be treated. And that's kind of like the way I just live my life, and I think that's the most important thing, whether it's what I do in school or in acting or in life. I just want to be a good person, and I think that my mom and my grandma are just two strong-willed women, and that's just what I want to be. So I just want to be like them when I grow up. Um, and as far as my favorite actress and actor, um, I love Angelina Jolie. I love Nicole Kidman. I think they're amazing actors. Um, I love Matt Damon, uh, James McAvoy, Russell Crowe. I could go on forever. We need to go into the next question. I'll be here for hours. <laughs> Oh, Stacy, this is probably my favorite question. Have I read any books from the Twilight series? I actually started reading them about four years ago, and I actually uh, read the first two and then had to wait for Eclipse and then wait for New Moon. And yes, I'm a crazy Twilight fanatic. I actually begged and begged and begged and got into the premiere of Twilight, which I freaked out because I was on the red carpet with Rod Paddington. And they're like, so how do you feel about Rod Paddington? I'm like, you mean Edward Cullen? There is no Rod Paddington. His name is Edward. Uh, and I thought, yeah, I kind of lived my life. I was really worried for a second there because I was like, I'm in love with a fictional book character. Like every guy that I met, I was like, mm, Edward wouldn't say that. Edward wouldn't do that. You know, you're no Edward. Yeah, so I was actually, I'm, I'm quite obsessed with Twilight. If I have to work it, I will be there. <laughs> I'll be serving popcorn at the, at the New Moon premiere.
can I sing? In the shower, uh, in the car, by myself. But no, I'm no Christina Aguilera. <laughs> oh, I, I love music, period. So I really, if you look at my iPod, there's everything from the Jonas Brothers to Flo Rida and everything in between. Oh, <laughs>